Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, and I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but I uh, thought I'd jump in and answer, try to provide a little guidance on a question that crops up in a forum every now and then, and that is, what if I've made a live USB with something like Belania Etcher, or DD, or GNOME Discs, or Image Burn in the Windows world? It's, 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 a, it's, it's, I got a great big 32 gig stick, but I've taken our little 1.6 gigabyte, um, uh, ISO and burned it on here and I've made basically a read-only image on a disk and I've used up I can't use any of my disk and I don't get any of the persistence features that and that Andix live family offers and uh, ISO family offers what do I do well I am running uh, a live USB right now made with DD with just such a system is read-only I can't use persistence on this stick uh, the live system will let me choose a hard disk and um, and to store the, store the persistence features there, but that kind of locks you to one machine. And the whole point of the live USB is to be, you know, a little bit mobile, a little bit machine agnostic. So uh, we have a system. We have a, a, a boot code called Two RAM, and I'm uh, on the live USB. You can you can you can either type that in if it's a UFI, or you can choose it from the boot menus when you do the custom boot, or on the legacy boot you get you have an F4 menu that has the option in it. You can you can boot to RAM and it loads the entire system into RAM. Okay, and when it does that, the live USB is available. So if I'm gonna open up Thunar here, and you're gonna see here's the MX Live USB and it's not mounted, I can use that to do what I want. Now this is my um, I am running live. The only thing I've done is installed Simple Screen Recorder, and it's running in RAM too. So nothing is running to this disk. I'm recording a video to a hard disk. So the, the USB stick is available. So we can go into Live USB Maker, and we can select Clone. Man, it's odd. It's showing. It's showing um, not available. But if I click and unclick some things, I can choose clone running live system. And this will let me clone uh, the system that's running onto the same USB that I just booted from. I'm going to do it in full feature mode so I get that writable USB. And all the usual antics goodness will ensue. This is going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause recording. It should only take about a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on how fast your system is. Okay, there we go. It's just wrapping up. It says Live USB creation is successful. Live USB Maker took one minute and 32 seconds. And I'm just going to give you a warning. The progress bar when you're in 2 RAM mode doesn't work real well. So it basically went from 0 to 100%. So I'm good. Let's check out the file manager and see if the stick is there it is you see it's changed a little bit now it says MX live USB instead of just MX live it's because we've done the whole reformat thing we now have the the tag that says made by live USB maker and we just made it just now 1051 so the next time I boot uh, uh, that stick will have all I'll be able to use all the persistence features that are available to the the usual antics uh, family of distributions, the Antic Live System family distributions. What's that include right now? That includes Antics, that includes MX of course, and that includes um, AV Linux is now using MX as a base, so it includes those guys. And it includes all your snapshots that you might make with your with your regular snapshot with our snapshot utilities available on on all those platforms. It's that easy. It can make itself. Uh, for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or annexlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle, signing off. Have a great night.